Boom. Yeah. Welcome to Desolus, the land of the swimming hippogriffs. Air swimming hippogriffs. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> They've been doing this ever since we got here. And that was... Yeah, I recorded yesterday and they were doing that. And the week before, they were doing that as well. That's when I first saw them. So this is a little weird. I wonder how long they've been doing this. <laughs> uh, hello everyone, welcome back to World of Warcraft Desolus Horde. So last time we had a bit of a more, uh, a bit more of a low energy recording session. Uh, I feel like today I have a bit more energy, even though I've been doing a lot more things today. I've been oh so busy, so very busy. I guess I was tired from the like the work week yesterday. Oh, here food. Food for you, and now you're calm. Just need to plant one more little plant there. That's a good spot. With nothing evil too close. There we go, all done. And go back and turn that in. Hyena! Uh, th there is another hyena mount where it has like a little... What would you say? Like a... Not a tent, but it has like what you would have on a wagon uh, that goes above the, the player. But the thing is, it is placed on the hyena in such a way that it like, it animates weirdly. I can actually show you if we go... Hi there, caravan hyena. Yeah, you see it has that little thing. Um, and it's... Yeah, it looks okay now when it's standing still, but when it's moving it looks nuts. Look, dong, 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 dong. Like, it it shouldn't be attached. Yeah, it has to do with the animation, and they've attached it to the back of the hyena, so it's. It shouldn't be animated. Yeah, this is a good way, standing still and running. It looks stupid. It's moving way too quickly. It looks like if I had a nail and put it in front of it, and I could nail it into a wall using this running animation. Look at the freaking lantern in the back there. It's way too frantic, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> ah, there we go. The rejuvenation is so invigorating, don't you think? Night elf, night elf, female voices. That's that's a hard one for me to to do. And the, yeah, the other one. Wonderful. Karnum will be so pleased. Please accept this as my thanks. The tranquilizer. Looks kind of cool. But why does it have piercings? Why would they give piercings to a sword? That serves no purpose. It doesn't even look cool. Like those are not like the sword itself. I like the design. But why does it have piercings? Uh, yeah, you can hang it, I guess, on a hook. <laughs> but then only one is enough. Uh, but no, I will, not. I will not be using that. But I saw that we had some new quests available. Uh, by the way, uh, if any of you watching are people who do not play World of Warcraft and you have like... No, you don't know... You don't know World of Warcraft. And you have questions about the lore and the world here. I'm f I would say I'm fairly knowledgeable Murloc speech here uh, I'm fairly knowledgeable about this because I've been playing it for how many years is it now it's since February 2006 so that's wait four ten two sixteen years. I've been playing World of Warcraft for 16 years. It's more than half my life. <laughs> Greetings, Paladin. It is good to see that you still draw breath. The time has come for me to call upon your services. Yes, southwest of this glade stands Ghost Walker Post. There you will find a forsaken by the name of Morin Bone Splitter. He may have a solution for one of the problems we face here. Speak with him, and do what you can to assist him. 
Karnum Marsh Weaver wants you to speak with Marin Bone Splitter. Okay. Oh, you did a little movement there. As okay, you're not doing anything. Okay. Oh, all right then. All right. So yeah, if you have any questions and you that you don't know about lore stuff in World of Warcraft that we stumble upon during these episodes, feel free to ask me. I I'd be glad to answer questions. Garen Darkwind. I have heard of your exploits here in Desolus Duor. We are in your debt. I'm afraid I must involve you in yet another crisis, one more pressing than the rest. The landscape is not all that has changed here of late. Old conflicts have made way for new, more dire ones. I should allow our guest to explain further. Khan Lepra is among the last of the Kolkar tribe that once possessed all of eastern Desolus. We found him near death on our borders. Listen to his words. Garen Darkwind at Carnum's Glade wants you to speak to Khan Lepra. So yeah, the centaur. This is a friendly centaur here. Yeah, they really need to update the centaur models. This is a well, this is a centaur Khan model. They look they are a bit more stocky than the regular centaurs. But like it's way too old. It's way too old. They need to update the centaurs. Uh, so yeah, they have different tribes. He said the Kolker tribe. The Kolker tribe used to have their camp over here. Uh, there, there are four. Well, there are more than four tribes, but there are four major centaur tribes because Desolus, I I've written in the description, is the centaurs like ancient uh, homeland. This is where they came from, um, and so four. Of the big tribes made their home make their homes here. Uh, there are other tribes, other places that we've met before, like in the Barrens and such. But the four ones here are the Kolkar, which used to have this area, the Magram uh, Centaur, which used to have this southern area, the Gelkis down here, and then the Maradine around Maradon. Uh, so those four tribes, you, you, yeah, they were here. So, what voice do you give a centaur con? Hey, hey, swimming. Oh yeah, he doesn't have a voice clip when you click him. Um, hmm. Like, I, I need to test this out a little bit. Be not afraid, Con. I mean you no harm. It began with a dream that repeatedly warned me of the danger to come. I saw the demonic legions bearing down upon our kind, overrunning our lands. The dream has become real. The Burning Blade and their demon masters have pushed the Magram out of their lands in the south. In turn, the Magram have defeated my people and taken over our homes. The fight was ferocious. Ferocious. Fer ferocious. Ferocious? Ferocious. Ferocious. There we go. The fight was ferocious. Only a handful of the Kolkers still live. I would ask that you visit what was once my land in the east and free them from their prison. Kill the Magram Warden at the Magram village. So that's another old time thing, is that you used to be able to pick one faction uh, of centaurs to ally yourself with and actually get reputation. I don't think you'd get anything from doing it. There was no need to do it. It was just a thing they put here. Uh, but you couldn't... The Kolkar was always unfriendly, as was the Moradin. It was between the Gelkis and the Magram, and they hated each other. So you'd yeah, they you either killed Magram my, my centaurs and get Gelkis rep, or the other way around. Mm hmm. Okay. Since the demons have invaded their lands, the Magram have broken all ties with any outsiders. They are untrusting and hostile, and have taken to stealing from others instead of providing for themselves. Many of our needed supplies have gone missing of late, 
and we suspect that the Magram are to blame. Please do on. Go to their lands in the east and search for our belongings. Collect seven scenarion supply crates from the Magram lands. Okie dokie. Anything else? No, wouldn't seem so. Well, since we... D yeah, I kind of want to go back to the... To the place behind us here, Ghostwalker Post, instead of dealing with the big... Because that's one of the big quest chains, it's the Centaur quest chains. So, uh, let's go up to Ghostwalker Post here. Uh, oh yeah, there's a little little path here. So, <laughs> I will never get over that, it's weird. So yeah, there, there's the actual Kodo graveyard, but it is a lot greener here than it used to be as well like the 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 flora and fauna has spread a bit into the big coda graveyard here oh yeah there's one of the coda bones and yeah the crack it has uh, from the cataclysm that's gone into the middle of the graveyard here so it used to be a little bit bigger you had this entire area here as well but there's still quite a bit of coda bones quite big coda bones Dying Kodo. Yeah, they go here to die. Aged Kodo. Oh, he's he's not dying. He's just old. He went here early. <laughs> there you are. Morin Bone Splitter. Oh, Forsaken Voices. I barely done them. There was this one guy in the Barrens. <laughs> Hello. Greetings, Paladin. It is good that you have finally arrived. As fate would have it, there is a special deed that needs doing. One that will benefit the Cenarian Circle, as well as myself. You see, Paladin, I am under pressure to create a special... concoction, shall we say. I believe my work to be complete, but I need to have it tested to be certain. The target of this test is to be the Naga, who threatened this region from the west. Their demise would surely aid the Circle. First, though, I need a delivery device. Hollow horns from the dying Kodo should do nicely. Marin Bone Splitter wants you to collect three hollow Kodo horns from dying Kodo. So not the aged ones, then. Well, they're about to die anyway, so... I don't feel bad about it. It's just it's mercy kills. Harnor. That's a that's a cute little hat you have there. <laughs> that looks kinda weird. Uh, do we have anything? No. And time has passed by yeah a lot, but we're doing up doing a lot of reading this episode. Caravan dunk 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 we're going over to this side of the camp because yeah there was a and now it's gone? And what? There was a quest there. Ah, oh, here is a quest. Nataka Longhorn. Longhorn, I recognize that last name. Hmm. Pardon me, young Torin. I'm in need of a little help. I've just finished filling an order for harnesses that must be delivered right away. I'm a bit old for the trip, especially considering how dangerous things have become lately. Would you mind? They need to go to Smeed, a goblin who lives just southeast of here. An attack at Ghostwalker Post wants you to deliver Smeed's harness to Smeed. Harnesses to Smeed. Smeed. Reminds me of Sneed, who is an old goblin boss in Dead Mines. Very, very similar names. It's just one letter missing. And over here, there was another quest over here. An orc. Ugh. Felger two cuts. Make it quick, Tarn. The demons are on the move, Tarn. If nothing is done, we'll be overrun in a matter of weeks. I've just returned from Manorak Coven, where the infernals are falling from the uh, where the infernal where the infernals there are falling from the sky. We need to go at we need to at least buy ourselves some time. Get down there and pick up where I left off. Felgard Two Cuts wants you to destroy ten lesser infernals. New good shield! Uh, that's nice. Always oh, nice to get like big visual upgrades. Well, we have Duran has changed a lot during 
this list so far, so. Here it is. The hand of Iraxos. Got it from one of the Burning Blade leaders myself. You must possess it if the demon portals at Manor Rock Coven are to be banished. Which is why I, which, which is what I ask which is what I now ask you to do. With the demon threat increasing, we must close these portals to stem the tide of demons to this world. Banish six portals at Manor Rock Coven and return to Felger Two Cuts at Ghostwalker Post. And new shoulder pads. Pretty good. So I'm guessing you are on break then. You're you took a lunch break from killing the demons. Hmm. That's a nice looking sword. Kind of weird looking. It doesn't really look like sword steel. It looks more like you broke it off from a like a saw blade and forged it into a sword. And also a lot thicker, of course, than a saw blade. Oh yeah, this mount. And it's the spring version, you're right. Yeah, they, they, this is a mount that uh, it changes with the seasons. Uh, its look. So it has a winter look with no leaves, and it has a spring look, and a summer look, and a fall look. And also, if you do the mount special, you see a pine cone appear there, and he shakes, and the pine cones drop off. <laughs> hey, it's kind of cool. We, I kind of have to end this episode here, but so far we've all done almost only reading. Uh, so let's pick up one Kodo Bone. Kodo Graveyard. Oh, that's cleared up a lot of, on the map. There, Kodo Bone. There we go. Progress. But I do have to end this episode here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye. Boom. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Watch a video. Boom.